Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing cha-ching number 80. Uh, so I did put quite a number of cha-chings in this cha-ching. I'm trying to get a little bit better um, caught up with um, my cha-ching videos. So this one might be a tad bit longer than some other ones. Uh, how many things do I have here out of curiosity? I have 55 um, things to go over. So let's start in where we left off, which was, this was a survival knife by Imperial. It was called an M75 survival knife. So it was a knife and then it also came with like other things. So if you would take it camping or into the woods with you, it had like other, items with it that would, you know, technically help you to survive. I think there was a compass involved and maybe some sort of matchsticks and stuff like that. I'm not even sure what was all on it. Anyway, Eric won that at an auction. Um, I, do, I don't always have prices for everything. You guys know that. I don't always remember exactly what we paid for stuff, but there is always profit involved. That's why we are resellers, right? Um, so we did sell this knife for $125.99. Next item was also something that Eric purchased. Uh, also came from an auction. This was a copper letter press of a fishing reel. So this would be something they would use in like newspaper advertisements and advertisements that type of thing. I know he didn't pay much for those. That one sold for $39.99 and he did get a couple of those. I'm pretty sure he sold all of them. Uh, next item was a Fenton hand painted fairy lamp. Uh, this also came from an auction. This was the auction where I got all of those um, Fenton fairy lamps. I still do have a few, not a whole lot left. Um, this one sold for $59.99. Next item I have is an older Avon hairbrush. Uh, surprisingly, these things do sell. Um, I had won like a huge lot of them at an auction, pretty much paid like a dollar a piece for them. So um, you will see these popping up in my chiching videos um, as they sell. So um, I have them priced at $22.99. This next item was so stinking cute. I wanted to keep this. This also came from an auction. It was by a company called American Chestnut. It was Santa on a sleigh and there were like two woodland creatures in front of him on the on the sled. Um, super adorable. That sold for $49.99. And I know when I won that at the auction, it was for a lot of two different ones. Next item was a still sealed Sony. These were high eight cassette tapes. So these were for like a video um, camcorder. Found these at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid like a quarter or 50 cents for them. And those sold for $26.99. Next we have a vintage, this was a single stitch Neil Diamond t-shirt. I did pick this up at a yard sale as well, probably paid um, no more than a dollar for it and that sold for $25.99. That did take a little while to sell. Next item was an Ulta body spray in the scent um, Water Blossom. This sold for $16.99 and I do think I have a couple more of those. Uh, next we have a teacup and saucer by a company called Yukago that sold for $12.99 and that probably came on a flat of other random stuff I won at an auction. Uh, Eric sold a Craftsman molding set. This was for bench saws. He won this and another set at an auction and I'm pretty sure he sold both sets now. Um, that sold for $29.99. You can kind of see what items Eric has been picking up because it's more like the dude stuff. Uh, next we have a set of two NARS blushes. These were, these weren't um, full size blushes. They were more like um, uh, the smaller size. Anyway, it was for a lot of two of them. I got these at a yard sale. I probably paid a dollar a piece for them. And those sold for $19.99. I sold a pair of heels by a company called Predictions for $16.99. These actually came from eBay at one point in time. I had purchased a reseller lot on eBay and um, 
quite frankly, there wasn't really much good stuff in it. It was basically like probably their cast-offs of stuff that didn't sell for them and that kind of thing or they didn't want to take the time to list. So for the future, I probably wouldn't purchase another like resellers lot on eBay. There might be some people out there who are selling good ones, but I don't know if I'd want to take that chance again. I'd rather source from other places. Um, next we have, this was a vintage from the 1980s, a rainbow themed school kit. I actually had this when I was younger. Uh, I wanted to keep it, but I can't always keep everything that I find. I was telling Eric the other day, like, if I actually kept even half of the stuff that I have found over the years to sell, I would have amassed, like, an amazing collection of stuff. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, this sold for $12.99 and that did come from a yard sale. I probably paid like 50 cents for it. Next item was also an Eric sell. This was a Craftsman Bench Vice. He did get this at an auction that sold for $47.99. Um, I do still have some Jack Daniels items in here and some Jack Daniels items you'll see uh, you might have seen in other cha-chings and that's because we had double of those items when we purchased these from an auction from someone's collection they had doubles of a lot of stuff as well. So the first one we have is a Jack Daniels London shot glass that sold for $99.99. And then the next item is also a Jack Daniels shot glass. This one was the gold metal shot glass and that sold for $54.99. This next item was a random win from an auction on just like a tray of stuff. It was a really nice pottery mug. It was, you know, signed by the artist. I tried my best to figure out who the maker was and I couldn't really pinpoint it down. They're, reading pottery marks is so incredibly hard because there's just so many of them. It's kind of insane. <laughs> um, so I did my best with that one. Maybe it was worth more than what I had it listed for, but I put it up on auction first just to see and it didn't get any bids. So I figured if it were something, someone would have found it. Um, so that did sell for $19.99. Um, I sold a Hallmark Santas of the World ornament. This one was for Italy. That sold for $22.99. That did come from an auction where I had purchased a bunch of uh, Christmas ornaments. I still do have a few of those left. Uh, let's see, we got a pair of Anne Klein lion head earrings. That sold for $19.99. These came from a shoebox full of jewelry I had gotten at a yard sale. I paid $5 for the box and I still don't have it all listed. Um, I was just kind of like picking and choosing the better pieces out of it or what I thought were, you know, better pieces and getting those listed first. Uh, next we have a, this was called a Celestial Buddies Plush. Um, this was of the planet Uranus. I found this actually at Goodwill. I'd say I probably spent like $1.99 on him and he sold for $19.99. And I will say I rarely source at Goodwill anymore. I know that, you know, people love watching Goodwill shopping videos and I like going to Goodwill. I like doing those types of videos and I do, I will still have those types of videos here on my channel obviously, but um, I just feel like it's not the best place to source from anymore and I definitely feel like other people are feeling the same way about it and that's not everywhere. I mean some people do have really good Goodwills in their area. I don't think mine is all that fantastic so um, it's definitely a place I feel like I find better stuff elsewhere than at Goodwill anymore. Um, next we have a vintage, this was a weeble wobble of a baby. Uh, this sold for $16.99. This did come from an auction. I had one, um, like a box full of just some older toys. There were like a couple pieces in there that I knew would 
pay for the box and I'd make really good profit on and that's exactly what has been happening so um that one sold for $16.99 which is pretty awesome for just a little um toy figure Next, we have a Department 56 Halloween ornament of a fortune teller witch. Um, as with these Halloween ornaments as well, I've had doubles of them, so you may have seen them in other videos and other chichings. Um, did I say that sold for $25.99? I don't even remember now, but that's what it sold for. Uh, next, we have a Franklin Mint F16. Um, this sold for $199.99. Eric and I did win this at an auction. Um, next item was also one at an auction. This is one of those uh, cast iron chocolate molds. This one was of um, turkeys. That sold for $105.99. I sold a coat reversible tote. So this can be worn two different ways. There was like, um, you know, a print of the coach signature print on the one side and then you could turn it inside out and it was more of like a plain color. So that was nice. I got that at a yard sale and I don't remember what I paid for it. It could be $5, it could have been $10, but it sold for $49.99. I sold a set of, I think there was eight of these. These were candy cane striped satin like floral picks. You could put these in like little floral arrangements. It was a nice like Christmas themed type pick. Um, they came from an auction, I believe. They were just like randomly on a tray of some Christmas themed items. And those sold for $9.99. I sold a Lemax Lee, Lee um, Christmas like light up village piece. This was of the Lemax Carol Town. It was called the Child's Wonder um, Candy Shop. That sold for $49.99. And that did, um, that came from a yard sale. I'm pretty sure we paid $5 for that. Okay, next item we have is another one of those Avon brushes. Again, sold for $22.99. Um, I sold a giraffe ring for $9.99. This was just like a costume piece. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that came from. I'm pretty sure it was a yard sale. I probably paid a quarter to 50 cents for it. Next item was a lot of creepy crawler molds. So this would have been for like the creepy crawlers toy um, oven. That's all for $25.99 and Eric did win that at an auction. He won like the oven and the molds and um, the um, whatever it is that you squirt into the molds. Uh, the molds can sell well. So we decided to sell them separately because we've always had success was selling um, creepy crawler molds. So those went separately and then eventually someone did buy like the oven and that type of stuff, which will probably be in another cha-ching or it was already in a cha-ching, I'm not even sure. Uh, next we have another Department 56 Halloween ornament. This one was of a pumpkin cat. That sold for $29.99. I sold a lot of five boxes of Nespresso coffee pods. I got these at a fill a bag rummage sale. Those sold for $39.99. Next item came from a random tray on an auction. This was marked Germany. It was of a horse jockey, just a little ceramic figure piece. That sold for $12.99. Next item did go to a subscriber named Dawn. This was a service book hymnal from 1958. Uh, this also came from an auction and I think it was just kind of like a, as always when I say like random box lots at the auction and that sold for $10. I sold a brooch by a company called Fish and Crown. This was of Three Wise Men, really beautiful piece. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember where I got this. I don't know if it was at a yard sale or if I won it at an auction with some other jewelry. But regardless, it sold for $23. Next item did come from a yard sale. This was that set of, it was a boxed set, boxed set of Nightmare on Elm Street VHS tapes. I paid $5, I believe, for this set of VHS tapes and they sold for $99.99. Um, fun fact, 
<laughs> and you guys are probably thinking I'm so weird, and I am. I mean, you're right. Um, but like, I really haven't watched like a ton of movies in my life, and I'm trying to fix that. Um, I've been watching movies here and there when I have free time. Literally, last week was the first time in my life I've ever watched Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm talking the first one. I haven't seen any of them, but I had never even seen the first one until last week. So, and it was good. I liked it. Um, but yeah, just side note. <laughs> um, next, we have an Angelina Ballerina Alice Mouse plush. This came from a yard sale. I had purchased like a couple pieces of these like... Um, American Girl Angelina Ballerina pieces at a yard sale and I listed all of them separately which maybe I should have lauded them together but I listed separately anyway um this plush alone sold for $26.99 so that's not bad uh next we have an Avon mineral bronze powder foundation that sold for $9.99 I had won a ton of Avon stuff at an auction and you know if you break it down what I've been spending on like Avon items we're talking pennies I've spent on stuff so uh, in the grand scheme of things so not a whole lot uh, next we have a this also went to a subscriber named Nicole this was a set of vintage Jasco little chimers Christmas bells these were little ceramic Christmas bells Eric and I had one um, like a tote full of just like some random Christmas stuff at the auction. Those sold for $10.99. I actually remember having one of those bells um, in my childhood home in the Christmas decorations. I remember the one. Uh, next we have a Barrel of Monkeys game that sold for $15.99. Um, again, Eric and I had won um, like a box full of just random games at an auction. And there were two two things of the barrels of monkeys games in there uh, next we have a Pepsi bathing suit I thought this was just really cool I threw it in my bag at a fill a bag rummage sale it ended up not really being worth much um, I sold it for seven dollars and ninety nine cents but in the grand scheme of things it probably cost me a dollar or less Next we have a vintage snowman candle by a company called MK. I believe it was like, um, obviously it wasn't girly brand, but like similar to girly, this MK brand. Um, that sold for $19.99. That might have actually came in the same tote as those little chimers bells. Next we have another Jack Daniels item. This was the tailgate set. I can't even tell you what all was in it. I think it was like a flask and um, maybe like two shot glasses and stuff like that. Anyway, it was brand new. That sold for $84.99. I sold a vintage. This was a toy from the 80s. They were called Keepers. Um, they were little animals and they would have a key with them and then you could like their shell or you could like get into them with like this key and just like you know put little secretive things in there like your little goodies and like lock them up and that type of thing I actually had a turtle one when I was younger anyway I found this guy at a yard sale I probably paid like a quarter for him he was missing his key so I couldn't even get inside of him he was locked but he still sold um for $15.99 Next item went to a subscriber named Tammy. This also came from the same tote of Christmas items. Uh, this was a lot of Avon decanters. A lot of them were Christmas themed, but there were some other ones as well. Personally, me, um, I love the look of the Avon decanters, the vintage ones. I think they're really pretty. So much detail went into those, and I think it would be really nice to like decorate with the Christmas ones at Christmas time because they were just really pretty. I actually have um, a little, it's an Avon decanter alongside of my tub. Um, I don't have any kind of like bath, um, oil to put in it right now but that's what it's for uh, or what I'm using it for it has like a little plate like a little bowl and then it sits inside it's like a little pitcher it's kind of like a tealish blue color really pretty I just the the quality of the Avon decanters I think is just so pretty um those sold for if I didn't mention $14.99 
Uh, next item we have is another Avon item. This was for a lot of two lipsticks in the shade Pout. That sold for $12.99. I sold a vintage Petite Princess dollhouse furniture piece. This one was of a vanity. That sold for $25.99. That did come from an auction. I had won a bunch of this Petite Princess dollhouse furniture which you will see some of that um, in my upcoming chichings. Next we have a Department 56 Spooky Pets ornament of a hamster that sold for $25.99. This next item is also one of those Petite Princess dollhouse furniture pieces. This one was for an end table that sold for $19.99. Next item went to a subscriber named Eileen. This was for a set of fruit and veggies magnets. These were so cute. They were like little fruits and veggies inside a um, barrel, like at like a, you would see it like a market type of thing. These came from an auction. They were on a tray of other like random magnets and stuff like that. So I listed them all together and those sold for $12.99. Next item I have is a pair of men's floor shine, if I'm saying that correctly, shoes. I know this brand can sell pretty well, but these pair of shoes that I had just weren't all that fantastic. Um, anyway, those sold for $17.99. Um, they may have come from a thrift store. I had them for a very long time, so I can't remember what I paid for them. Next, we have a vintage Care Bears PVC figure. This sold for $9.99 and probably came from a yard sale. I sold an Aeropostale sweater for $7.99. I had this sweater for so long. Aeropostale is definitely a brand I don't really look to pick up anymore. Um, that probably came from like a fill a bag rummage sale. I probably just threw it in my bag, but it, I've had it for a very, very, very long time. So I was so happy to see it go. Um, next we have, this one was really pretty. This was a pretty piece. This was a salt dip, but it was shaped kind of like what they called a shuttle is how they describe the look of this, a shuttle salt dip. Um, it was by a company called Hoku Tosha. That sold for $19.99. That probably came on the same tray as that Yukago uh, teacup and saucer um, from an auction. And the last thing that I have for this um, cha-ching was for a lot of music VHS tapes that sold for $25.99. And I probably paid about like 50 cents a piece for those at a yard sale. Um, so that is everything for this um, cha-ching. Out of all of these cha-chings, um, I did have one return. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't get returns very, very often. I, ha I feel like, knock on wood, I haven't had one in, in a while now. Um, as far as any problems arising on eBay, I don't really feel like much has been happening. I do feel like there seems to be a lot of instances where, like, I will sell something and then I'll get a message right after of someone asking to refund them some money because they think shipping is too much like okay rude <laughs> one um I don't mind refunding especially like if you purchase more than one thing and you guys know this if like you purchase stuff from me like I will combine your shipping and I send refunds back of, of shipping costs that I don't need when I'm combining shipping. But when you purchase something on eBay, it is like a binding contract. Like you are, you know, purchasing this item for this amount and you are agreeing to it when you purchase it. So to like message someone after the fact asking for a discount or asking for a refund of some sort like that's not how things work um there's not always the case now there is some instances where you know there might be a chance where you could um send back maybe like a dollar or something after you know shipping but you also have to think of the fact that the seller 
is, you know, purchasing your packing materials, your bubble envelopes, the tape, um, everything else like that. Um, so I just, I just feel like it's so rude when I see those, um, messages. Um, but maybe that's just me, but that's, I would never do something like that. Like if I were buying something, I would never message the seller after the fact asking to be refunded some shipping money uh so i don't know i'm just kind of blown away sometimes when i see that and i feel like it's been happening kind of frequently um a lot of times though i feel like when i do see it um people ask before they purchase um but i just had someone recently do it you know after they purchased an item so that's like a weird thing that I've been seeing recently. I've also been seeing recently a lot of messages come through, and this isn't so weird, um, where people specifically are asking for things to be shipped in boxes, or they'll say something like, please ship this carefully, or please wrap in bubble wrap, or please do this. And I mean, a lot of that stuff is just common sense, at least, you know, for most people like how how to properly ship something but you know some people might not know and I do want to do a shipping video at some point <laughs> like I've been wanting to do that for a while now um just because these people who are sending these messages might have you know purchased something from someone who maybe didn't know how to properly pack something or didn't know how to properly ship something and you know their item arrived broken and now they're afraid that, you know, the next time they purchase something, the same thing is going to happen to them. So I, you know, I understand those messages and obviously, you know, I chip things, you know, the correct ways um, and, you know, wrap everything really well. Um, but, you know, I do feel like there's been an uptick in those messages too. So there might be a lot of people like, you know, having issues with stuff arriving to them, to them broken. Um, but those are pretty much the only kind of things that I really have to talk about. I feel like sales are okay. I always say okay. Um, but you know, I, I always feel like there's always room for improvement when it comes to, to sales. Um, like I want to hear cha-ching, 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 like all day long, you know what I mean? And it, that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, sales are still like, okay. Um, uh, but yeah, that is pretty much everything for uh, this cha-ching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments, how things are going for you if you are reselling um, and that kind of thing. Like, let me know if you have received any of those types of messages as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.